back to our channel mega pizza print studio channel today we shall be talking about converting epson l1800 805 to dta printers these are utilities printers made by epson it can be used for normal picture printing can be used for other document printing as, as well it can be used to print on films that is converting the printer to DTA printers. So today we are going to look into it. We have to uh, we have to remove the casing, remove the component that we need to remove from the printer to make it converted to DTF. So the critical areas we need to work on is the front roller. So now we are going to remove the casing and to remove the casing you have to first start with removing the front panel the front the front control panel the front control panel you can see uh, i have to get a sharp object to lift up the front control panel you have to gently with it so that the ribbon the power the switch control ribbons will not get spoiled pull it out and keep it safely somewhere then the next thing is to look for the screws. Uh, by the side, you will see some uh, plastic there. Just bring them out. They are not tied with any screw. Just bring them out one after the other. Then at the center where you remove the front control panel, there is a screw there that tied the casing to the body of the printer. Or screw it and bring it out. Then the next thing is to go to the back of the printer. There are about three screws there that cover the printer's uh, power unit and the main board. So you have to gently bring them out, then gently pull out the back cover. Then once you have done that, uh, you have access to remove the side panels. You remove the side panel one after the other and once that is side panel you have about uh, two screws there. One is up, one is down. Then you unscrew it. Then the heat tank. There are two screws there too you need to remove. Lift it out and gently remove those screws. What you are trying to do is to quietly remove the casing out of the body of the printer so remove that one then once you have done that you're able to remove the side panel at the other side of the printer with that now the side panel should be able to come out without any entrances can you see it's out then there are still some other screws we need to remove before at the back there are some screws there that you need to remove then add under that second panel there are still some screw two screws there one up one down you need to remove them as well then take your time go to the back then there is two screws there the one is the left one is at the right you remove them once you've done that i think the the casing should be free to come out by now so take your time to remove those two screws then at the front there is a plastic panel at the front that plastic panel needs to be removed there are about three screws there which you need to remove also just remove the screws when you're able to remove that then you can bring out the panel the plastic panel 
then you can see the inside of the printer. All those rollers that you are seeing there, those are the front paper rollers. Those are the rollers we need to remove to make our printer to be converted to DTF, at least before you start putting ink and all other things. So to do that, there are a couple of screws we need to remove. That's a uh, uh, metal that look like L shape. You need to quietly or gently remove it. Remove the screws. Remove the screws. Then there is a groove. Those grooves are the part of the body and uh, the body of the printer. You need to look at it critically. That is what makes it to align. So that when you are fixing it back, you have to look at that groove inside the print inside that L shape uh, metal into it. You see how I'm bringing it out. And then thereafter, all those screws that you are seeing in front, all these screws, you need to remove them. So gently unscrew them. Keep the screws separately so that they are not going to mix up with each other. Keep them together. Those that are of the same thread, keep them together of the same diameter, the same size. Then go to the other side. Also, there are some screws there. You need to remove so there is two screws there too once you do that gently lift up that uh, bar then when you lift it up you will see those uh, rollers front roller quietly remove them keep them you remove them lift them up gently sometimes it might be hard just apply some little force into it and uh, bring them out then once you have done that Position the bar back to its position, then bring out that uh, L shape uh, bar, then align it with that groove and tie it back. Tie every screw, make sure every screw is tight firmly so that there won't be any losing of screws or screw falling out when the printer is working, which might actually damage your printer. So tie it down. Tight it firmly, tight it in such a way that uh, it's not going to be too, it's not going to be losing when the printer is working. Do the same thing for all other screws that you have removed. And once you've done that, then uh, actually this might be the part one of that uh, Epson 1800 conversion. We might eventually do second part where we are going to feed the ink into the ink tanks then use it to print but this is the basic then probably we do an outside, uh, output tray for it because now that you have removed the the front roller you need to prepare an output tray for the printer and the reason why we removed that roller was because the film is a little is a plastic plastic in nature it's not like normal paper that need that roller to, to for him to grip if that roller front roller is still there it will be making scratches on top of that plastic and spoiling our design spoiling the printout so that is the reason why it needs to be removed which we have done so tie every necessary things then follow up the way we remove it and cover up the printer so it's just a small process uh, it's not as difficult. Only what you just need to put on the chorus to do it. You have to do it once. Once you've done it once, you can continue doing it. You can do it for other people and so hand money through it as well. So tight all the screws where they're supposed to be. Then cover it and tie all the other screws. So with this, this will bring us to the end of how to convert. A printer. The same thing applicable to Epson L805 is the same process. What you just need to use do is to remove the front screw. So this is the end of the of the conversion. So we will encourage you to like. Then you can see a tube there. That tube is uh, connected to an external tank. So I will show you maybe in part two 
how we do that connections. So we we'll, so this is where we are going to end our our tutorial today. Please like our video, subscribe, comment, and share our video to your friends. Let them subscribe for more of our videos. This video is going to be an advantage to us. God bless and remain blessed. Thanks.